am Jason Smith. So you might have been watching my videos already and you're like, who is this guy? The guy in the videos, most of the videos, that's me. The teacher. Alright, I realized that I should have uh, introduced myself to the class a lot sooner. Um, and I want to apologize because I did not do that. Um, I know that it helps you a lot, or I realize now that it helps you a lot um, as a student just to know who your teacher is, what they look like, to have been introduced to them. So, honestly, I am really sorry that I didn't do that before. Um, but I didn't, and uh, I didn't know, didn't really think about that before, now I do, so here I am, all right? And the great thing about it is uh, um, the way that I've structured the class, it's not going to really affect you, I don't believe. Um, all right, so um, first thing, let's talk about me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm 40. I just turned 40 last year. Um, I have a six-month-old daughter at home. Uh, Oriana is her name. It's O-R-I-A-N-A. -A. Um, I'm married. I've been married about six years. Uh, my wife, her name is Drew. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, um, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, interests, I re I'm really into rock climbing. Um, I've been climbing, uh, rock climbing, for over 20 years. I started when I was 18. Um, yeah, I used to live in Yosemite, um, I climbed all kinds of rocks, um, in Yosemite, yeah, <laughs> I am really into all, all that kind of stuff, uh, so yeah, you're just, I don't know, the typical outdoorsy guy, you know, whatever, yeah, dresses casually, alright, um, okay, so that's done, um, let's see, my math experience, I didn't like math in high school. Um, I hated math. I was like, what the heck is this stuff, you know? They just do this to make our lives hard, you know, or whatever. Um, uh, I failed out of college a couple times. Well, I think, actually due to math. <laughs> uh, algebra 2 really got me. I think that's Math 108 at VSU. Um, let's see, I didn't really... Uh, I, you know, like most people, I thought math was just sort of like, uh, you, you solve for X. Who cares? Um, I went back to school third time uh, after I had uh, kind of followed my climbing dreams, living in Yosemite, climbing all the time. Um, I did some traveling overseas, and I went back to school to be a nurse. Um, because nurses have lots of free time. Well, you know, I mean, they get lots of time off. And, uh, and I wanted lots of time off to go climbing. Um, and that, that really uh, dr drove my decision to be a nurse. I just wanted to have free time. And a, and a, um, a, s a solid, stable job. Um, through taking Algebra II, the sec uh, again, because I had failed it before and failed out of college and all that sort of stuff, um, Taking it again, for some reason, I just things clicked for me, and I I, I just found that I really liked uh, math because of the feelings I got from being successful at math. Uh, in rock climbing, uh, in the type of rock climbing called bouldering, um, bouldering where you just climb with you climb small rocks with a pad, you fall on a pad. You may have seen people out with these big pads on their back. Um, they even call the, the climbs boulder problems, and people will work on these things for, for years, for years. People might work five years on one problem and then finally get it, and they're really excited about it. It feels really good. And I found that actually solving math problems, I kind of got that same feeling as when I did a hard climb or a hard boulder problem. That's what got me kind of interested in math, um, was the feeling that I got from, from doing it. So I chased that feeling for a while, and then um, now I'm, I'm actually into math because I like math. But 
it took a long time before I got to the math that is interesting to me. <laughs> um, so, so at least that's my story. Okay, so I do understand what it's like uh, I, to not get math and to feel really uh, unsure of yourself with math. Um, and when I've written the directed readings for this class, I've really uh, taken a great um, amount of time to really try and explain the things in a way that, um, at least for me, when I started learning math, that would have helped me to understand it. Okay, so I do a really, I do work extremely hard to explain things well to students. Now, that may, that you still be like, well, yeah, you're still confusing, dude, okay, and that's fine. You know what I mean? The, the fact, the fact is, um, being confused and being okay with being confused and working through that, um, asking the right questions to get through being confused, that is what this is all about. It is truly job training, okay, for technical fields. Your boss in technical fields does in a technical field, like say you're a computer programmer, software engineer, something like that, your boss doesn't want you to come to him and say, hey, I don't get it. I'm totally confused and I don't get it. I don't get anything. They want you to say, I'm totally confused. Here's why. Here's where I'm confused, the spot that I'm confused about. That's, so think about the way that you ask questions in this class. Think about, think about that. You want your, you want, if you ask a question, if you don't get something, you need to say why you don't get it. What don't you get? So you send me an email, I don't get it. What don't you get? Oh, I, I've tried really hard and I've compared these things and this directed reading, I've compared things of things I found online, I've looked at all these different sources, and I'm still scratching my head because of this one little piece right here. That's the kind of questions we're looking for. All right, but if you still give me a question like, I don't get it, I'll still answer your question. I'm not worried about it. We're all at different levels, we're all at different places in the stage of things. I understand that, okay? I'm here for you. I love answering questions. I love it, absolutely love it. I wish I had more. Not enough questions out there. All right, well, lots of questions, people not asking them. All right, uh, structure of the course. Um, Many, many people in the class, I think, have a solid understanding of the structure of the class, uh, at least the people I've talked to, uh, but some do not still, and, I, and that, uh, that's concerning. I want to make sure that you get what's going on. All right, just think of it as a video game. Just think of it like a video game. Um, I'll date myself a little bit here, but you know, I used to play Legend of Zelda when I was a kid. And, um, you know, to get to the next level, you had to satisfy all the criteria from level one to get to level two. That kind of thing is satisfy level two to get to level three. All right, so the levels in this class are labeled by grades, right? You got uh, at the C level, at the B minus level, at the B plus level, and we got the A level. We start at the C level. If you, sat, if you uh, show that you understand all of the C-level objectives, you have a C in the class. That's it. Uh, to get a B-minus, you have to show that you understand all the B-minus le level material and all the C-level material. That's it. Alright, so if by the final, you show that you have a mastered all of the C, B-minus, and B-plus, then you have a B-plus going into the final. On the final, I test you again on the C on the C level material. If you don't uh, pass the C level material on the final, then your grade goes down one. So you had a B plus going into the final. You don't pass that. You go down to a B minus. What happens if you get a C going into the final? If you have a C going into the final, you don't pass the uh, C level material on the final. You get a C minus. Okay. So to pass the class, all you're concerned about is passing the class. You just pass the C-level objectives by, uh, by the final. Don't take the final. You know, if all you care about is getting the C-minus, get checked off on these, you're done. Okay. Um, 
most people want a better grade, um, and especially when you see that it's, po it's actually possible to get a better grade. Uh, this, this class is more tailored towards you getting a good grade than um, a typical standard points-based system, because a standard points-based system often is high-stakes exam, uh, where all the points are based on the exams. I see the exams as a sifting mechanism. Okay, it's just a way for me to tell and for you to tell what you need to uh, understand or what, what objectives you haven't really uh, met uh, full understanding of yet. So on the first test, which you might be taking today or you're taking Monday, um, you can take the C and the B minus uh, level tests. Uh, you take the C um, and so let's say you pass everything except for uh, C3, Objective C3 and Objective uh, C7. Um, all that, that, if you're, check, you're checked off on all the other C-level objectives, all you got to do uh, between then and the end of the semester to get uh, to, to have a C is show me that you know C3 and, um, and, and C7. You can do that by taking exam two and show me on exam two that you had to do that. You can do that by coming into my office. Uh, that's 239C in the math building, and sh and just showing me, hey, I know this stuff. You might say, hey, I know C7. And I want to show you that I know it. And what I'll do is I'll say, okay, get a just choose a random problem um, from C7 and show me at the board. You know how to do it. If you could do that, I mean, if you could show me at the board that you know something, then you know it. Okay. Um, All right. That's basically it. Uh, the assessment quizzes, yeah, you got to do those. Uh, that's how I can tell how you're doing in the class. That's how I can tell what the class needs. Maybe more videos made about, or you know, where you're struggling, what you need. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to say, and I think this video will be over, except for um, maybe you've heard, maybe you've heard that Jason Smith can moonwalk, maybe you've heard, maybe you've heard this, I pride myself on my moonwalking abilities, that's right. So. I'm not going to moonwalk for you right now, but I'll say, all right, if uh, three quarters of the class gets to, gets past the sea level objectives, um, I will make a video of me moonwalking for you. Yeah, which means it'll be on the web. But it's a good moonwalk, so I'm cool with that. All right. I love looking at myself in this thing. All right, All right see you later.